I remember in September 1st, when the war started, when the sirens started, uh, you know, blowing, we thought that this is just a um, drill, that it's not real. But now, then on the radio it came true that Hitler, I mean the Germans, crossed the Polish border. It was around 9 o'clock, I heard it on the radio. June 22, 1941, I will never forget that day. It was a Sunday, because that was the last time I saw my parents. My last holiday with my parents was Shavuot. It was just a couple weeks after Shavuot. It was so horrible, the bombardment. And they put us in, um, not um, uh, freight trains, not for passengers, but for, you know, like freight, fre fre freight, freight, freight trains. They put us in, and we, the train was standing, waiting. And there were some other people that we still knew that came from other sides, and we said, how about now it's a good time to escape and go back home? And there was a, one older man, and he said, Kindala, where are you going to run? And then we thought the first thing, we're going to send a telegram to our parents where we are. When we came to the post office there, they took the telegram. But later we found out they never probably got it. And then we went to other places, you know, further away from the front. It was Voronish, near the city of Voronish. And as far as, I was not far, maybe, 80 kilometers from Stalingrad. That's when I, we stopped. We got in. This is where we first saw people who survived. Like Mr. Banker was one of the first ones whom I met in the city, who told us, really, I mean, what was happening there. And I walked through the streets. The streets are the same, but I don't see people. I don't see familiar faces. And I came to the street where I was living. And this building is destroyed, but there's still some parts of the building, like, you know, stones left. And I stood there, and I started to cry. This is where I was living. And I stood there, and it was drizzling, and I started to cry. There was no people. 